I want to show some comments on the content. Again, it's kind of point of pride for me. I'm not trying to brag, but uh, quality of content is one thing I think I, I did well, and I'm, I am doing well. I need to improve a lot of it. Uh, this guy said this was the first online course of Tech Player in addressing videos. Uh, all the other videos are recorded in the office with a space. They don't want to see my face facing the camera. You know? So this person, every other uh, online instructor in the student's experience was violating that idea of the quality content. The equipment was terrible. Yep, sound quality. You can't see what they're writing on the chalkboard. Yep, heard those complaints. Um, the PowerPoints are interesting. Sense of humor. I'm not trying to say I'm... I don't, know, I don't want to come across as I'm some kind of clown constantly cracking jokes, but I do intersperse little bits of humor because I know if I have to break the monotony and get them kind of engaged and excited about doing this online when there's so many distractions with them being off campus. You know, we've got students, actually a lot of them are on campus taking online because they couldn't squeeze it in their schedule. So they're sitting in their dorm rooms, their friends are playing video games, their friends are out partying. How do I engage the students so they want to do this? Some of my students are full-time workers. You know, they're coming home, they have to put their kids to bed. Then, oh, do I want to watch a video before I go to bed because I'm tired? Well, if I, they know there's something in it for them, not just the content, but a little bit of fun. Feedback, Alex Tavarock talked about you have to coach the students, yes. Because you can't motivate them in that classroom setting. It's hard to replicate. The way I do it is to feedback on the homework. Now, in class, I do, I do give homework feedback. But let's review the homework. Okay, here's what most people miss. Let me redraw that graph for you. But that's easy, low cost, because I've got all the students there. I have to do it one time. Here I have to almost do it individually for each student. Okay. And I really motivate, I give them positive feedback. Excellent, yes. Oh, great example. Yeah, that's a great example you added. Perfect. And I'll maybe even share those with the other students sometimes in the uh, discussion forums of the blog. Quick turnaround is crucial. One thing I, one big mistake I made in the first time is like, it's too busy, too unfocused, let homework pile up and then not grade it for three or four weeks later. All oh, the students hate that. Because I give them this great feedback and it's, you know, that's information I could have used yesterday. I already took the exam. Thanks a lot. It's so a quick turnaround. This does make it more labor intensive. Now the time saving device. So here's an example in Microsoft Word. Here's my question, student answer. I say, just highlight your answer. And I will highlight the key thing in your answer. Yes, okay, there's visual. This is my feedback. Here's some comments on the feedback. This was the first cohort, so they were uh, upset that it took so long. But here a student said, you know, the professor just glanced at and gave a grade, so he passed an easy one to help me at all. I appreciate your time spending on all the grading. I think it's worth the waiting. Well, now I'm not making them wait so long. So they like it even better. Some of the students weren't aware of how Blackboard worked and they didn't know how to find the files I submitted back. So and now, in my course intro video, I say, hey, make sure when I grade your homework, you will get a little notification. Make sure you download it and read my comments. <laughs> I couldn't believe the students didn't know that the first time around, but you know, that's, how, that's the way you learn. Most of the students did know and they talked about, yeah, I enjoyed the feedback. Okay. And I give, I did give group feedback in the discussion boards here. The homework feedback, here's the negative comment, the homework feedback would have been much more useful had they conveyed in a timely fashion. <laughs> yeah, my bad, I'm, I'm there. Okay. Finally, the discussion forum is the way to engage students and we have requirements now to have weekly engagement assignments. Well, you have to go on a discussion board every week, it's tied into the content unit. And the way I'm structuring it now, well, I'll get to this here in a second. I'll talk about why. The students can answer questions for both about kind of the format and organization, of course, but then specific about content. I have no clue on how to do homework problem three and unit two. Okay. Other students will jump in there for me, though, because I said you can get credit by posting a question or by answering someone else's question. Well, Professor Watts explained this in detail in the video, <laughs> so you must not have watched it. Rewind and watch it again at the eight minute mark. The other students will do this for me. <laughs> and then if I have the students give me feedback, that's where I got a lot of these comments on what you liked and didn't like. We loved the content, we hated the fact that you were disorganized, thought and didn't respond to our emails. Yeah. I'm, I hear you. And they're involved on a weekly basis, so. 
you know, it might cut down on the procrastination because they realize, oh, I have to provide a comment on this material, and I have, and there's a due date. And Professor Watts said, don't just cut and paste somebody else's response. Don't just say, I agree with Joe. Yeah, you know, GDP is cool. No, I mean, apply it. And they are, some, not all of them, but a lot of them are applying it. And that creates a derived demand for the content. My advice is to how to set it up and definitely make it an assignment. Put a point value, put due dates. Give specific instructions. I'll show you what I mean by this in a second. And point value with the rubric. So first time I set up the course, this was all it was. So it was a form, form for each unit. And I just said, hey, please use this form if you have any technical difficulties or questions or comments. But I didn't assign it. I didn't put points. I actually did assign it, but I wasn't clear that I had points and it was assignment and it was due. So this is, yeah, I said, I said they just count towards your course participation, but I didn't have any point system. They had no clue because I didn't know how to set it up. I learned this was my trial by fire. Look what I changed this to. Unit two feedback is week four, so it has a specific due date. And here's exactly how you need, what you need to do to get full credit. Give me some feedback on the chapters, the videos, the supplements, um, things you found interesting or challenging, other examples that you can bring that apply to the concepts. Uh, what do you think about the presentation? And then reply to somebody else. And this is tentative. I said, I want you to have 30 words. I, it's hard to create these criteria, but I have to because I always say, yeah, I agree with Joe. Why? Well, I post I agree with Joe. I do their full credit. Well, no, because that's plain. <laughs> so I, I am experimenting. Yeah, see, I agree with what Joe said. No, don't just say it. I'm experimenting with some particular criteria. Uh, so I have one for the feedback and then one for the homework. And it's, it is working. It's, I think it's too early to say whether this is really perfect way to do it, but I think it's working much better than it did the first time around. Okay, so let me just conclude by reviewing my main points. Quality content is time consuming, high fixed cost, but once you create it, you can repeat it, low marginal cost, so it's worth that upfront investment. Quality feedback does add to the costs, but I think it is necessary for online to function. Well, the discussion, Craft the right incentives. You don't actually have to be that involved because you can make the students help each other. And that's why I say post, uh, require a post, and then an answer, or just an answer. So the smart students who don't feel any compulsion to post questions, hey, you participate by answering someone else's questions, and that economizes my time.